Hello kids, today I am going to teach you how to find LCM of two numbers. LCM stands for least common multiple. In order to understand LCM, we need to understand what each term least common and multiple means. Let's pick them in the reverse order. We'll start first with the term multiple. So multiples of any number are the numbers which are evenly divisible by that number. Let's try to understand this with an example. Let's try to find the multiples of number 9 and 12. I'll start with number 9 first. So multiples of 9 are all the numbers that come in the table of 9. I'm going to put them in the, on the number line. So we have 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63, 72, 81, all these are basically the numbers that come in the table of 9. Now let's find the multiples of number 12. So multiples of 12 are all the numbers that come in the table of 12. So we have 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, 72, 84 as the multiples of 12. Now let's pick the second term in LCM that is common. So we have to find the multiple that are common between these two list of numbers. So we can see that 36 and 72 are the only numbers that are common in these two lists. Now let's pick the third term, which is the least. So the least number out of 36 and 72 is 36. So the least common multiple of nine and 12 is 36. Okay. This was only to understand the meaning of LCM, that is least common multiple. Now let's learn the method to quickly calculate the LCM of two or more numbers. This is called the division method. In this method, we write two numbers and divide them with the smallest prime number until we get one. Let's apply this method for finding the LCM of number 9 and 12. We start with finding the smallest prime number that can divide 9 and 12. Smallest prime number that divides 9 and 12 is 3. So let's divide both 9 and 12 by 3 and write the quotients in the next row. 9 divided by 3 is 3 and 12 divided by 3 is 4. Now let's again find the smallest prime number that can divide 3 and 4. Now there is no such number that divides both 3 and 4. Therefore, we'll divide them one by one. So let's first divide the number 3. Smallest prime number that can divide 3 is 3. Now 3 divided by 3 is 1 and then copy 4 as it is from the top because we didn't divide 4. Now let's divide number 4 as we have already got 1 under 3. Smallest prime number that divides 4 is 2. Now 4 divided by 2 is 2 and now we again divide 2 and the answer is 2. So now we have got one under both the numbers. So we do not have to do any further divisions. Now in order to find the LCM, all we have to do is to pick all the numbers on the left and multiply them. In this case, we multiply three into three into two into two, and the answer is 36. So this is how we find the LCM of two numbers using the division method.